I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. I was asked by the uh by the Minister of Highways at the time to come up with uh, some kind of litter uh, program. Well there, well, there was a race between the Russians and uh, the Americans to put the, uh, the first guy up on the moon, and this was very interesting. I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. I was just horsing around and doing some uh, 
as, as designers do, I guess, try to get something, and I come up with a circle. And the circle developed into uh, another circle, and another circle, and it developed into the orbit. Sketching a little bit of circles on a piece of paper, and then one thing another come along, and then, and then the uh, the spot that came into my head. I figured, oh boy, and I guess the uh, the rockets that were going up were were always uh, cylindrical in shape, and there was always feet there, especially landing on the moon. They had a foot, so I guess maybe all this happened in here somehow, and it just came, it just came, it just came on paper, and that worked out pretty well. It wasn't called the orbit then, it was called a litter, a litter sphere, I think I called it at the beginning. I think the first batch we got was 10, and then it, it came across pretty good, so we increased it, and I think it finally wound up that we, it was about 140, 150 all over the province. The province had letters from all over the world. They had a lot of response. Um, in fact, they showed me the stack. They had a stack of correspondence from, like I say, all over the world. And I don't know about you, but if you ever go to somewhere, do you write a letter and say, oh, I really enjoyed this uh, trip over to uh, wherever you went? Not very often. T-shirt printing company. We yeah, we specialize in uh, doing custom print jobs for for people who want shirts, two or twenty or two hundred, and um, we also have a line of our own designs. Um, most of them featuring local stuff or, um, yeah. And we do buttons. Buttons. What inspired the Orbis design? Uh, we were just trying to think of. Um, uh, things that were locally related, or things that uh, would would bring, uh, would make people think um, think back to their to the youth, or I don't know. Who doesn't have memories of these things on the side of the road when they were a kid? You know. <laughs> we kind of grew up in a rural town on the number one highway in Manitoba, so to go anywhere, you had to drive on the number one. If you were going to do anything exciting, it was down the number one highway. So whether you were like going on a, on a trip with your family or later just going on road trips with your buddies, um, the orbits were there and that's kind of, it was kind of a landmark, a cultural landmark, something you remember from, from growing up. 
The cool thing about the design with the orbits is that it was strictly something in Manitoba, so you know people just driving through Manitoba would always associate it with uh, with our place and. Yeah. Or there was a smaller version in the city, and I think that's part of it. Is it was I don't know if it was even the same design, but it's like we had these big ones, like the forty-eight inchers, the big highway ones, sized. highway sized, and in the city they had a smaller ones. So it maybe didn't have as much of a pow, you know. Maybe. I'm just a, a little ball. Pow! Mm-hmm. I'm a big ball. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I remember when I was a kid, they were just kicking in the recycling is big, right? And they had the orbit, and then they always had this little hut beside it on a stand, a stand about probably four feet tall, just about to, so it was the same height as the orbit, and it had a little hut on top of it. I don't know what that was for. It was always empty. Clearly, we thought the trash was going Man, to space. Man, you know what? Honestly, <laughs> as a kid, I probably did think yeah. the trash was going to space. I probably did. They really tend to trash. take things literally. Put your trash into orbit. I probably did think they were in space. It got to the point where they were using, they weren't using them just for litter, they were using them for, to dispose of garbage. Uh, and uh, it got out of hand. The cottage owners were taking their garbage from the cottage and just putting it beside the orbit. And it was, it was, it was more or less we were in the garbage business all of a sudden. But then it got to the point too in certain areas where um, and I don't know whether who it was, I can't put my finger on it, but you'd, you'd find, find livestock, dead livestock in there. And I guess some hunters would throw their carcasses in there when they've taken off the meat. And uh, again, the maintenance forces weren't equipped. And we were not equipped either, the highway department was not equipped either to, uh, to be in the garbage business. I was thinking the Manitoba Museum should have an orbit display. Um, I don't know if any of them still exist or if they'd have to remanufacture one or... It would be cool. I think people would like to see, you know, anything retro come along and... Even if it's a retro trash can. People have memory of the orbit, so bring it back. Would I like to see them again? Yes. And I also have an idea on how we could use it and, and uh, re, uh, redesign it so that it could be used again and not have all that uh, garbage that uh, people should take to the, to the dump. If any politician that's interested, uh, I have an idea. <laughs>